Phase one of Doha Metro, about 24 billion US dollars. Uh, they're building three lines uh, in parallel, uh, three lines at once. Uh, Jacobs are the, are the PMC, the project management consultant on one of those lines, the red line. Uh, the red line alone um, probably had uh, FTEs, about 15,000 people a day, uh, 54 kilometers of, of, of tunnels. Uh, in fact, we had nine tunnel boring machines on the red line. In fact, there were 22 tunnel boring machines in, 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 in Qatar. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the Metro is now in the Guinness Book of World Records for having 21 tunnel boring machines running at one time. Uh, so we went into Qatar consciously <coughs> looking to try and bring those international uh, best practice standards sure. of, uh, of looking after uh, welfare and health and safety mm -hmm. of the labor and, and the, in fact, the entire family building the Metro uh, in, in Qatar. We were very conscious that building the team in Qatar was, um, we were building a, a new team in, in Qatar. Mm. We were bringing together Jacob's uh, professionals from around the globe and, mm. and bringing them together in that new team. Uh, and we really worked hard to make them feel part of that, that wider family and, and the mm. sort of uh, exchanges we talked about are part of it. Mm. Um, we were also able to bring in uh, expertise from different parts of the business at, at, to, to match the, the, the changing demands mm. and, and rotate people uh, uh, in, in and out to, to, to get that best, best result and allow some of the lessons learned and some of those experience learned to, to go to the benefit of uh, wider clients as well. There was a number of parallel initiatives, all, 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 all strongly supported by the, mm. by the clients, uh, where, we, where we drove um, standards in, in, for training. Uh, in fact, uh, Jacob's actually sponsored uh, the, the, uh, the generation of some of the first uh, uh, third-party accredited right. training standards in, in Qatar and funded some of the initial uh, uh, labor force to go through those yeah, before it was adopted uh, uh, across the piece. So that's a real money where your mouth is kind of, kind of, you know, taking the lead kind of, kind of position. Yeah, and got a, and yeah. got a sort of critical mass uh, uh, belief mm. that, uh, that, that we mm. could deliver um, to standards in, in the Middle East that would have been expected uh, elsewhere. When, you know, you do get alignment between the supply chain and the client and behind the project with a common culture and drivers, you can achieve amazing things. And then ultimately people become advocates for the approach. Mm -hmm. So it's not unique to, to Middle East, um, probably, you know, and um, sort of relative, but yes, yeah, I still think there's opportunity to do things better in the UK too. For me, it's all about the people. Uh, and, and, this, this, and it comes back to what Bruce described earlier as a culture of caring. And so it's, it's about the people, but it's not just about our people. It's about the wider family of people. Everyone mm -hmm. thinking about and recognizing everyone involved in those projects uh, is part of that family and treating them with, with respect. Uh, and once you do that, you're, you're, you, you're well set up to, to, to succeed. And, and I think that the, the proof of, of the performance of that project is, is actually to do with the, the, the quality of people. Mm -hmm.